Hey, welcome meditators. How are you? It's been great to get your notes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep them coming. I love them. So today's meditation is about observing and becoming conscious of the, of, of the guilt and the shame that we do to ourselves unconsciously. We have deep programs that say we've done something wrong, or more importantly, we are wrong, or we're going to get it wrong. I've done something wrong to another person is guilt. I am wrong. There's something wrong with me is shame. And a lot of us are intertwined with both of them. But it's not who we are. So I'd love you to play with this weekend or this week, or maybe even today, is what is that shame or guilt story that you hold? Journaling from that place and being present from that place is really important because the subconscious just loves to tell us you don't belong, there's something wrong with you, or you've done something wrong, or both. Becoming aware of how we're deeply programmed to that, which can bring up emotions of sadness and anger and fear and so on. But that's a very necessary step in order to move it. So we were talking a lot about this in both the mind, body, spirit class and in the relationships class, this idea of intertwined shame. And it's time to say, no, that's not who I am. So this meditation is about observing that and choosing differently. So go ahead and close your eyes. With your eyes closed, get yourself into that deep belly breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Belly rises and belly falls. With your eyes closed, soften the shoulders down towards your hips. With your eyes closed, let your eyelids droop into your skull. And you'll notice that each time you come to the mat for meditating, it gets a little easier, a little soother, soother, a little calmer to settle. Really being present to the inhales and the exhales. Really being present to the presence of who you are. Healing is not just about finding love and feeling ease and feeling joys and connection to your guides. But it's also about looking at the pain and seeing it is not true. Then your next breath, imagine, sense, see, or feel that you're in a place in nature that holds and supports you. As you step into this place in nature, you know that there's a massive transformation that's going to occur. And there's a willingness with which you're in this meditation class. There's a readiness to release this pain. There is an openness to looking at the wound. And breathe. See now sense now or feel now the concept of shame or guilt the voice of shame says I am wrong the voice of guilt says I've done something wrong as you sit in this place in nature imagine that part of you coming towards you it may be the part of you who've made choices for yourself outside of what your parents wanted for you. It may be the part of you that gave up on yourself, that didn't think she or he was enough. 
that continues to shame yourself. So just invite that party to come in, even if it's been uncomfortable. And see this part of you standing directly in front of you. And breathe. Observe this part of you as you observe, would observe a child at a playground. Observing. Maybe with some compassion or understanding. And a sense of awareness. And the more you can observe this part of you, the less it can eat you up. Just observe it. It's the party that says you've really done something wrong to see it. Observe it. Step back five steps from if you need to. You may already be feeling a bit of that chest tightness or that throat tightness. That's where in the body is stored. And as you look at it, the key is, is to see this as a part of you that is outside of you. It is not all of you. And again, keep breathing. And on your next few breaths, your wise guides, your angels, your ancestors, they have literally walked in and created a circle around you and this part of you. So you are encircled by love. This divine energy that's just walked in knows the truth. There's nothing inherently wrong with you. You've never really done anything wrong. Now for the next 10 breaths, I'm gonna ask you to sit here in silence and be present to the truth. The truth is this part of you're looking, you are looking at is actually an illusion. It's not part of the God self energy. The God self energy knows that you're enough You've always been enough. You are divine love and light. And just breathe here. Slowly and deeply and calmly. Find that ease in your breath and that calm in the body. Allow the grace of all of your guides to step forward and to let you know the truth. You've always been enough. You are enough. And you will always be enough. And just breathe into that truth. Step more into the divine light of your being. Knowing that you had to have this cape on the planet that said you weren't enough. Or that you had done something wrong. Think of it like a cape. A Batman cape that wants to come off. Having compassion for it, but also knowing it is time to let it go. Step back into the truth of your being. Again, the truth of your being is you are, are enough. You've always been enough. You've never done anything wrong. I am enough. I've always been enough. I've never done anything wrong. I am enough. I've always been enough. I've never done anything wrong. And I can choose for me. Breathe into that. I am enough. I've always been enough. I've never done anything wrong. I am enough. I've always been enough. I've never done anything wrong. 
I get to choose for me. It's impossible for you to do anything wrong. I am connected, I am loved, I am connected, I am loved, I am connected. There you go. And just breathe into that beautiful. Ten more slow breaths. Knowing that you had to come on the planet and put on a jacket or a cape that said you weren't enough, that you did something wrong. And so now, in this last part of the meditation, I invite you to visualize, sense, see, or feel that you are being guided to a bonfire. And in the bonfire is some crackling wood, the smell of fresh flames, and the beautiful, 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 beautiful visual of fire in front of you. This fire, it is time to dissolve the idea, to clean yourself of the idea, to rid yourself that you've ever failed, that you've ever done anything wrong, that you've ever been wrong. So take that cape off for the first time and last time in your life and give it to the flames. Forgiving yourself for ever taking on this untruth. Now, this if there's a party who doesn't want to drop it into the flame. I like my shame. I like my guilt. Now it's, there you go. It's time to give it up. Drop it into the flames. Step back. And watch it incinerate. And as it's burning, you're forgiving yourself. And every cell of your body is taking the truth in. I am enough. I've always been enough. I've never done anything wrong. It's impossible for me to do anything wrong. I am loved. I have choice. And again, just stay here. I am enough. I've always been enough. I've never done anything wrong. I have choice. So again, you know, I'm gonna say it, stay here longer. There is some magic in this meditation. There is some magic in this moment that you are touching right now. I'm encouraging, I'm ending this meditation early on purpose because I want you to sit here. Maybe you plan 20 minutes for this. I'm ending on purpose early. So you can sit next to this fire and observe all the untruth. Be dissolved, be released to the heavens in the way of flames and smoke. Take a few more breaths. Slowly and deeply, calmly and easily. It's a big meditation today, so please, no rushing your way through your day. Have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow.